Hello Mavericks, meet Mr. McBride. Hope you are doing well. Sorry I could not be with you today. Um, I hope that you have a good day in art. You are going to be creating something really fun. You're going to be creating some little folk art bunnies. Um, and we'll create them symmetrical so they're kind of matching each other. So there's the eyes and the nose so people get confused. We're going to make some bunnies today. And that's going to be our only goal. If you get uh, at least the bunnies cut out and drawn, that'd be great. If you didn't get it all decorated, um, you'll have time next week to finish it as well. So our goal is to make two bunnies today. What you'll be needing is some red paper, which everybody will get in a second. And then you'll also need to decorate using whatever you have, but you may use these cool construction paper crayons. They work really well on construction paper. They show very nicely, a little bit better than your average crayon. So please use these. They're really great, but please make sure that they end up back in their containers. Um, that way we will have them for next week. We need them for our backgrounds that we'll create next week. So to get started with our bunnies, we'll be creating bunnies that look something similar to this. You can make it different, the form, but we wanna make two bunnies that are matching, but kind of flipped, okay? So getting started with this, we will get a piece of paper. Now your paper is gonna look like this. Go ahead and take this short side and the other short side, fold it hamburger style. Make sure the corners are matching. Fold and crease. And at this point, I'm going to draw along on this side, matching the contour of this bunny, okay? So if you wanna pause the video and get this ready with the folded, mine opens from the left, my bind's on the right. You can pause the video and then replay it when you're ready to draw with me. Go ahead and grab a pencil. I'm using Sharpie because it's easier for you to see. Grab a pencil. Okay, for the next part we're gonna do, we're gonna draw this bunny's contour line. I'm gonna start with this little V shape right here, okay? So a sideways V towards the top on the right side. Then I'm gonna go over to the left towards the top of the paper. And I'm gonna go to the right, go down a little bit like a little hill. And you see there's a good deal of space in between these two things. Now I'm going to bridge the gap between these two things by making a wavy line. I'll first go up, then go down. And as I go down, I'm going to, to the best, oops, we'll make a little oopsie there, but that's okay, because that's totally fine. Um, I'm going to end up at the top of my V. Now you saw me make a slight mistake. Um, I want it to be down. If you make a slight mistake on the drawing, erase it. If you forgot and you use Sharpie, guys, the final thing is when you cut it. So if something's not drawn quite right and you know it in your head, you can just cut it differently. So when I cut it, I'll cut it here and go down a little bit sooner. And so it's not a big deal. Um, just know that if I'm going a little too fast, just remember, pause the video, take your time, Draw as best you can, um, but I'm not against you trying a different form. I just want you to have a bunny that matches on both sides, but if your bunny's ears are shorter, do a different type of flip, like maybe they're flipped up, maybe they're pointed down. It doesn't really matter to me. That's your artist's choice, and that's fine. I'm going to start from here. My pencil's not on the paper yet, or my marker isn't. I'm gonna go down to the right a little bit, and then from this point, I'll go and make another wavy line, this time going down and then up. And when I go up, I touch the bottom of my less than sign or my sideways V. Right where I started, and this is our ears, by the way, if you can see what's happening. All right, I'm gonna go down to the right and right about I'd say in the middle of my ears, somewhere about there, I'll start curving back down again. This part isn't super critical, right? Uh, your decision here, um, it's just up to you how high you want your bunny to go. You could stop right here, you stop where I'm at. You could stop at the very bottom of the page. You just are deciding how tall you want the bunny. And wherever you stop, this line that kind of curves down, make a rounded shape for the tail. It can be as big as you want. And when you're done, make a line that goes to the left side of the paper. And that's going to be the bunny's bottom, tail, back, 
ears, and head. Now this doesn't look like a bunny. It's an abstract shape. It looks kind of weird. And it's gonna look a little weird until you finish um, all the details like, oh, let's say the face and kind of partial belly part of it, uh, the ears, some of the lines, and the legs, right? Those things add it until it looks like a bunny. And even then, it might not look exactly like a bunny, but you know, you'll at least have the clues and you can say it's somewhat like a bunny and that will be closer to target. But right now, it looks definitely not like a bunny. It even looks like a like some sort of type of bird, right? And this is the beak. It looks kind of strange. So what can we do? Um, I'm going to actually draw some things, but if I were you, I would cut out everything. Actually, no, I will, I will cut it out with you guys. We'll cut it out and I'll show you the other steps. All right, so I'm gonna go kind of quick, cut through this. I would take your time. I'm gonna cut through all my bunny. Like I said before, if you're thinking, oh, my tail's too big and you want it a little bit smaller like I just did there, well, you can do that as you're cutting. Now, notice my paper, when I started, I left it folded. I don't want to unfold it. If I unfold it, I'm not gonna get two bunnies. I'm just gonna get one. And then I'll have lost some of my Sharpie marks. I won't know where to cut. So leave it folded as you cut. There's one. V. Now when I unfold it here in a moment, I'm going to put them side by side. The reason I want to do it side by side is for this reason. So I'll take it, flip one. There's my two bunnies' bodies. I want them side by side because what I'm trying to do is I'm going to make the ear, the legs, the eyes, and the nose. And I want these things mirrored and I want them at the same height. So it's if you do one and then you do another separate, it might be hard to get these aligned. So I'm gonna have them the same. First thing I might do is I might give, 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 might give each of my bunnies a little nose. So I'll do a dot at the top. Now, some of these things might look weird. It might look like this reminds me of like a cow's face, right? Put a little nose right there. Or someone said a moose. It's gonna look weird when they're close. If it kind of stumps you up, you can put them a little bit further away. That way you can tell they're still bunnies. But I'll have them close so I can make these marks the same. I'll have a line right here. So starting from the middle of the V, do a curved line on each side. All right. Right over here, I might do a hill. comes down to the middle. These are my toes, one, two, three. The first one doesn't count, one, two, three. There are my toes for my bunny. And then in between this part and the edge of the paper, I might have a skinny line come in. That's for the other leg. All right. Um, you might decide, hey, I wanna do this eye this curved eye differently, you can. You can make it a circle. If you want to do a curved eye or a circle and you're wanting to have a colored portion of the face, you might want to color it first and then go over with uh, maybe a black crayon to do the eye. I noticed that Sharpies don't work too well um, over top of crayon, but let's just say, I'm not gonna color it right now. That's your, you guys can do that. I think the eye might go here. And now that I have the eye here, it's gonna be easier for me to make it match on the other one. Okay, and I have the eye over there. So now my two bunnies are done. The only thing I have left to do is to color. When you're done, take a little clamp, clamp both your bunnies together as much as you colored, names on the back, and then we will pick this up next week to add our backgrounds. See you next week, everybody. Bye-bye.